Hello and welcome to Breakthrough Today. My name is Catherine Abraham and over the next couple of days I will be taking you through the seven fundamentals of relationships. So, have you ever been betrayed, felt oddly at risk of being wrong? Have you ever questioned your relationship or wondered if you're in the right one? Over the course of the next couple of days, I hope to share what the Bible says about the fundamentals of relationships. Today I'll be focusing on the first fundamental, which in many ways is twofold. I call it commitment and conscience. While the former is often dealt with in every Christian relationship, in many ways it is to the exclusion or to put it very mildly to the neglect of the latter. However, commitment stems out of the need for a clear conscience. So what does the Bible tell us about love and relationships? Colossians 3.14 states, And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Indicating that commitment is the outcome of love, which is the overarching principle, the hallmark of every sound relationship. In Ephesians 5, we read that the root of a human relationship, even marriage, is directly connected to Jesus and the church. For it says in no uncertain terms, he who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. It is here that the second C of conscience plays a key role. None could have put it better than Titus, who in his first chapter says, to the pure, all things are pure, but to the defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But both their minds and their consciences are defiled. To nurture a pure relationship, it is necessary to cling on to your conscience, to believe in the pure essence of your communion with your significant other. Today, as you take some time off work, give your spouse, fiancé or a loved one just 15 quality minutes of undivided attention and see the day change completely in front of you. If something has been bothering you, speak your truth. Confront the problem together so that you will be blessed by the divine. For now, it's me, Catherine Abraham, signing off for Breakthrough Today.